To access the Early Able's professional learning, you'll need to go to the Early Able's page on the department's website at www.education.vic.gov.au forward slash Early Able's. Then click the Complete the Early Able's professional learning link. You'll be taken to the Professional Learning Portal website. To register on this site, click the Create New Account link. Enter the username for your account. Your username must not contain spaces or capital letters and must not have a full stop at the start or end. Next, select a password you would like to use. Your password must be at least six characters in length. Then enter your email address twice before entering your first name and surname. Then click the Create My New Account button. A confirmation email will be sent to the email address you specified within 60 seconds, asking you to confirm that you are the owner of that email address and have registered yourself on the site. This prevents other people from signing up to the site using your email address. If you do not receive the email, check your junk mailbox to confirm if it's there. You'll need to open this email and click the confirmation link within it or copy and paste the link into your browser. The link will expire after seven days. When you click the link, you'll be taken to the account confirmation screen in the professional learning portal which will state that your registration has been confirmed. From this screen, you can click on the Courses button to go to the list of available courses. Select the Early Ables course for Victoria. You'll be prompted to enter the enrolment key before you can enrol in the Early Ables course. Your service would have received this enrolment key in a circular from the Early Ables team. Once you've entered the enrolment key, Click the Enrol Me button to enter the course. You won't need to enter this enrolment key the next time you log in. Once you're enrolled, the only thing you will see on the Early Ables course page is a link to the pre-course survey. You must complete this survey with information about your role and your service. And once you've done this, you will see the course content appear on the page. Click the Start the Course button to get started. If you wish to view the professional learning in full screen mode, simply click the link below it. You can navigate through the module using the next and back buttons in the bottom right corner of the screen. To guide you through the module, you'll see instructions appear in red along the bottom of the screen when it's time to proceed to the next slide or complete an activity. The content of the module is audio narrated and you can pause and replay the narration using the seek bar at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice a menu down the left hand side which shows your progress through the module. Next to the menu tab, you'll see a transcript tab. Click this to read the content from the audio narration. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a further reading link which can take you to the sources for the information contained in this professional learning if you are interested in finding out more. Keep in mind that you don't need to complete the professional learning in one sitting. If you're partway through it and you return to it on the same device, a message will appear on your screen that asks if you would like to resume from where you left off. Click yes and you'll be taken to the last screen that you viewed. At the end of the multimedia content, you'll be asked to complete a quiz to demonstrate your understanding of the content covered in this course. To pass the quiz, you'll need to answer all questions correctly. However, there is no limit to the number of times you can attempt the quiz. Once you have passed the quiz, you'll see a link to download your certificate of completion. If you have any questions about how to navigate the content or experience any issues with the professional learning portal, please visit the Frequently Asked Questions area on the site or contact your course administrator.